Hi everybody, uh, welcome to This Week in Foosball. Thanks for tuning in. I am sitting here virtually with Fred Gower, Fred in Shanghai, and Mr. Perry Xu over in Shanghai, China. How y'all doing this morning, or this evening, gentlemen? I know it's uh, Saturday evening to you guys, uh, Sunday morning over here. Y'all having a little party this evening, huh? Yeah, we're doing great, Carlos. Great to see you. We're having a foosball party tonight. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you got a bunch of people there. It's awful quiet right now. Well, they're in the other room. We've got them well behaved, but they're going to burst in here any time. But we're having a lot of fun. I guess most of you know who Fred Gower is, and uh, the gentleman he's sitting right next to is uh, Mr. Perry Shu. He is uh, the top-rated player in China, right? Is that right? Top-rated player in China. Yeah. Top, uh, top-rated yeah. national team, Chinese national team player. Uh, how you doing, Perry? You doing all right today? Good. I'm doing great. How okay. about you? I'm doing okay. It's a little early for me. I'm not. I'm not used to being up this early in the morning. But you know, special occasion, so yeah. I don't mind. How old are you, Perry? Uh, I'm uh, 25 years old, and I came. Uh, I came to Shanghai only three years. Oh, really? Where did you live before Shanghai? Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not the uh, Shanghai local. I'm from uh, Lanzhou. It's a small city in China. It's uh, the west east of uh, China. Yeah. Small city in China. How how many? How what's the population in that city? <laughs> we have uh, three million. Oh, three. That's, a, that's a small city. In, that's a small city in China, Carlos. <laughs> no, Shanghai is nineteen million. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I live I live here in Houston, Texas, and it's the third fourth largest city in the United States, and we have right around four million people here. So. Um, to consider Houston a small a small city, whoa, my goodness gracious! Uh, is is it very far from from Sh from Shanghai, your your hometown? Yes, maybe there uh two thousand kilometers, a uh, two thousand uh, meters, kilometers. I'm kidding me. I'm not good with, uh, <laughs> with the metric system, so I wouldn't know how, how to translate. It's about fifteen hundred miles. Okay, fifteen hundred miles. Well, that's uh, halfway across the country here in the states. How long have you been playing, Shu? Ah, uh, I have been playing uh, football at uh, almost six years. Oh, six years, yeah. Yeah. How'd you get started playing? Uh, you know, when I graduated from my high school, uh, I found a training center in my hometown. It's a very small, not very small training center. Yeah, we have uh, maybe three or four. Uh, football tables, and then I saw it very interesting. <laughs> many uh, children they played on that table. Not not many uh, the 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 uh, not many uh, people like like us, like uh, the students, <coughs> the young students. Not so many young students. Uh, sorry. It's okay. We understand. It's okay. uh, yeah, not so many uh, young people. Play that tape. Play on that table because maybe they think that that is a tour. So many children play on it and I saw it. Oh, I yeah, and then I saw I saw people. Uh, he's uh, 40 years old and then he can do the parts on that table. I saw oh he he has skills on it. So I want to learn it and then join that club and <laughs> learn much, learn much in in it. That that 40. Plus year old was that? Did that happen to be Fred Gower that you saw playing? <laughs> no, that was his first coach. Yeah, that's my first coach. What was his name, Perry? Yeah, yeah. His name is Love it's in Lanzhou. That's my hometown. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fred's been uh, quite the ambassador for you guys over there, huh? He's been teaching you a lot of stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, uh, uh, some some Chinese uh, producer. They made the uh, like the Bozini table, I like that. So we start from a French style, and then when the, when Fred came to Shanghai, he showed us many different skills, but on the maybe the tornado table. So we like the table is more strong, and uh, uh, but actually at the beginning we don't like play on the tornado. So uh, we like we like Bozini. Maybe, uh, maybe we played uh, three years for Vinny, and then we switched to the tornado table. So we, we used to, uh, on that table, we liked the softball, 
We like to control. Before before you shoot, we like to ping the ball, you know. But on the bowling, we cannot ping the ball very easily. And then, and then he shoot me many pass, and the shoot still uh, like the snake. We start from maybe three years ago. We saw he used he used the snake shoot. Why? No one can stop him. <laughs> and now we uh, learn from him. Yeah, we got much fun. Uh, so, so you you prefer to shoot the snake instead of a pull shot? Yeah, we start from the uh, European shot on the tornado table, and then we switch to the tornado table. We we start to land the snake shot. Carlos, I actually insisted that every player that I teach learn a pull shot, a push shot, a pull kick, a push kick, a euro, and a snake shot. I didn't force them to pick any of the shots, but I taught them all the classic shots because even if they didn't want to play it, they could learn how to defend it. And I really wanted to make sure they learned the U.S. style as well as the French style, and uh, they they seem to really like both. That that's good, and I think that's probably that uh, was probably a good idea to do that because then you you give them the opportunity to ch pick and choose uh, which shot is best for them. Uh, but that's a good thing that you, you, you learn all those shots and get to pick and choose which ones that, that which style of play that you prefer. Uh, uh, what do the people there in China think um, about foosball? Mm, I think uh, mm, most of them they think it, this is just a game. It's not a, it's not like a sport. Sport. Right. Uh, until, until they get on the table and realize how difficult it actually is, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, more and more people uh, saw our. Uh, we made the Chinese the training DVD. We show we show people the you you can do the pass on this table. You can do different shot just like the real soccer. So uh, uh, so many many people think it, uh, we have to. Uh, have many skills on this table. Uh, you can become a good player, and then um, some of them uh, change their idea and think this is a sport. Yeah. Yeah. What they don't, the, the hard, the thing about it is that um, to the observer, they don't realize how much is involved um, psychologically. You know, in your in your in your head when you're playing the game. They just yeah. to, to to the outside observer. It, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on other than just a bunch of men moving around. You know, they don't realize that there's a reason why you're moving your men yeah. a, cer a certain way. Do the different defense. Is it easy to find a place to play foosball over there? Yeah, in Shanghai, I think it, mm, it's uh, more easier to find the uh, player here in the bar or in the bar. That's, uh, most of the city, you cannot find a much player there. It's really still a very new game over here. Yeah. There's uh, there's quite a few places to play, but most of the tables are horrible. So since I've been here, though, we have seven or eight places in Shanghai now that have good quality tables. We have a website. We have regular events. Um, we even have high schools in some cities in China where foosball is on the curriculum. You, that's the sport you can choose for your sport in, in physical education. So it's coming along, but it's still a small beginning sport. But it's really exciting the growth that's happening now. That's awesome. That's awesome. What what type of table um, do y'all play on? Uh, we played on a tornado, and uh, we have a fireball. You know the fireball table? Fire, yes, I know the fireball. Yeah, yeah and the, the Chinese uh, Chinese bonzini. <laughs> it's called Sina. Sina. Yeah, it's a, a, a kind of a, a, a bonzini type of knockoff. It is, yeah. yeah. But it's it's a decent quality. Yeah, the, 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 some uh, many of the French families who live here in Shanghai, uh, they order them, they love them, they think they're a great deal, and it's a good table. But uh, I'm not a Bonzini player, but for the ones who are, I quite like it. But I'm all over North American style, and that's sort of the table that I promote. But I tell everyone, you can learn a lot from the European style. It's a great style, but the style that I teach is more North American.